Hello and welcome to the section of the Trig and Pre-Calculus Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to start to talk about some identities, some very important identities called the cofunction identities and also the even and odd uh, identities of trigonometric functions, of core trigonometric functions. These guys are very useful. They're not quite as used or quite as common as some of the ones we've studied before. But having said that, these are very useful also, and it turns out that you can really understand where these identities come from by knowing the shape of the sine and cosine graph. So I'm going to do a little bit to show you what they are and, and do a little bit to show you basically where they come from. We're not going to be able to do this kind of background work for every identity that we have, but for these it works pretty well. So first of all, before we talk about anything, I think it's better to go ahead and write them down. Um, because I think it's going to make a little more sense to you. So these are called the cofunction identities. And I'll explain what cofunction means in a second. So the cofunction identities, let me write them down. And you're going to look at these and say, wow, where do these come from? But let me get them down on the board and then I'll, I'll explain kind of where they come from. What it's saying is the sign of pi over 2 minus some angle theta is equal to the cosine of theta. What this particular cofunction identity means is that if I take the sine of an angle, an angle theta, but if I shift that angle by pi over 2 radians, then it's the same exact thing as just taking the cosine of the original angle, right? So if I've got you know, sine of 40, or let's, instead of degrees, let's talk about radians, uh, pi over 4 radians. And then I shift it, that's what a minus sign in here is doing. It's kind of shifting the angle that you start with. If I shift it by pi over 2 radians, that's what's happening in the parentheses there, then it's, the, and I take the sine and get the number, it's exactly the same thing as just taking the cosine of the original angle I started with, pi over 4 radians. So it's basically saying that sine and cosine are related to one another, through a shift of pi over 2, which is a shift of 90 degrees, right? Let me, let me write a few more down, and then I'll draw a couple pictures and, and show you a little bit more about what that means. The cosine of pi over 2 minus theta is equal to the sine of theta. And again, this is the same kind of thing. If I start with some angle theta, let's say it's pi over 3 radians, right? 60 degrees. I, I start with that, and then I shift it you know, by, by doing the subtraction, pi over two, 2 radians, so I shift it by 90 degrees, or pi over 2 radians, and then I take the cosine. That's exactly the same thing as just taking the sine of the original angle I started with, pi over 3 radians. So again, sine and cosine are related to one another through a shift. That's basically what this is. These could, these could be called the shifting identities, if, if you wanted to call them that. The reason they're called cofunction identities is because sine and cosine are considered to be cofunctions, because they're so similar. And we've all looked at graphs of sine and cosine, and you know they have the same shape. They're just kind of a little bit different, but they more or less have the same shape, so they're called cofunctions. Now, there's one more I'm going to present to you that you probably won't use as much. The tangent of pi over 2 minus theta is equal to, if you had to guess, what do you think the cofunction of the tangent function would be? Well, you probably guess it's the cotangent function. So if I start out with some angle, you know, call it, uh, you know, pi over 6 radians or whatever, pi over 9 radians, and I shift it by pi over 2, I take the tangent, it's exactly the same thing as just using the cotangent of the original angle I started with. Okay, so I'm not going to do a detailed, detailed, um, you know, derivation of this, but I'll take just a minute to explain 